It's definitely safe to say that survival horror games are my favorite genre of video games of all time. I found an amazing tier list with 64 of the best survival horror games of all time, and I'm going to be looking through them and ranking my favorite survival horror games. Out of all of these games, I've only played about 30 of them, so I've got a whole category dedicated to the games that I have never played. But we're going to go ahead and start this tier list off with my favorite franchise of all time, Resident Evil. The 1996 Resident Evil 1 I'm going to go ahead and put in the B rank, mainly because it is easily the hardest Resident Evil game to play. I felt like this game didn't deserve anything lower than a B rank because it is truly iconic and the storyline is absolutely fantastic. But of course, moving down the line, now we have the OG RE2. This one is without a doubt going to be the first one to go up in the S rank because this is the first ever survival horror game that I ever played. I used to watch my dad play it back in the day, then I finally got to play it for myself, so I have a lot of love for that game. But next up we've got another classic S rank Resident Evil game, and that is going to be Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I actually enjoyed this game a whole lot, and altogether, I think it is a great game that doesn't get enough respect. I know a lot of the more OG hardcore survival horror fans will understand, but the OG RE3 was probably the first survival horror game that really showcases such a menacing stalker-like enemy like Nemesis. I think the OG RE3 was the first game that had us on our toes the entire time. But next up is a more action arcade type of uh, Resident Evil game, so I'm not too sure why it's on this list, but I'm not complaining because I actually really enjoyed this game and had a lot of fun playing it, and that is Resident Evil Survivor. As much as I do love this game, it is not that much of a horror game, so I'm going to have to just put it in the A rank. But moving on up into the S rank is Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Resident Evil is the first actual franchise that introduced me to survival horror, and this game was one of the very first Resident Evil games that I ever played. But aside from that, I wouldn't actually rank it according to nostalgia factor or anything. It is actually a great game with a fantastic storyline as well. I think this one too is a little bit of an underrated game, and I hold a very special place in my heart for games that are actually very good, but underrated at the same time. Now moving on, we have the first games that are going into the Never Played It category, and that is Resident Evil Survivor 2 and Resident Evil Gaiden. But now moving on to one that I have played, it is RE1 Remake. I did check the game out for the first time in 2016 and I did think it was pretty fun and scary but it was kind of difficult because I was younger so I gave up on playing it and then when I heard from fans that this is one of the best survival horror games ever I had to go back and check it out. Sure enough that game was an S rank RE game and that brought me on to this next Resident Evil game which is Resident Evil Zero. I went ahead and put it in the A rank because it is a pretty good and scary game for the most part, but it is hard to play at the same time because you have no inventory box. Now next one is another nostalgic Resident Evil game for me because it was one of the first RE games that I ever played as well, and it is Resident Evil Dead Aim. I had to go ahead and put this one in the A rank as well because the story and the gameplay is just so much more improved than the previous titles that these developers made, which was Resident Evil Survivors 1 and 2. So I think they completely nailed it on Dead Aim, but moving on to the next one that I wasn't such a big fan of was Resident Evil Outbreak. I actually never got around to playing it that much and I never did beat the game. And also, one thing is that I never got a chance to play it online, which most fans recommend doing. So moving on, because of my uh, bad history with Outbreak File 1, I never did play Outbreak File 2, so we're just going to move on from that, and now we're going to be talking about Resident Evil 4. It is without a doubt that the OG RE4 is one of the best survival horror games that we have ever got in video game history. I had to go ahead and put it up there with OG RE2 at the top of the S rank because this game was just a complete blast to play and it had a lot of scary moments in there as well. 
this game was a bit more action-packed compared to what a survival horror game would be, but I think this game still held a lot of those survival horror elements. Next up is another RE game that I kind of question why is even in this tier list to begin with, but I'm just going to go with it. It's Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. I went ahead and put it in the C rank because I played this game very briefly and I wasn't such a big fan of the Wii shooter kind of games. So now moving on to my personal favorite, which is going at the top of the S rank. It is none other than Resident Evil 5. I got into survival horror games and Resident Evil just a few years before this one came out, so when this game dropped, I was so hyped for it, and it went on to be one of my most played Resident Evil games and most played survival horror games ever. With how much love I have for RE5, I couldn't see me not putting it at the top of the S rank. But moving on from that brilliant game, we are now moving on to Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And there was also a bunch of RE games in there that I had to put in the Never Played It. I went ahead and put this one in the B rank. Actually, looking back at it now, it makes me want to play it again, but I actually didn't care for this game so much at the time. Another one that might not deserve being in this survival horror games tier list is Resident Evil 6, but I went ahead and put Resident Evil 6 at the top of the A rank because the game is an actual really fun game to sit through and play, especially if you have a friend and can play it co-op. It doesn't hold a lot of those survival horror elements, but I think it's still got some pretty scary moments in it. Now making its way into the S rank, we have Resident Evil Revelations 2, which for a spin-off of Resident Evil, I actually had a lot of fun playing this game and have a lot of appreciation for it. I never did end up playing the first Revelations game, but with how much fun I had when I was playing Revelations 2, it would make me tempted to go back and see how good Revelations 1 truly could be. Next up, we've got another Resident Evil game which I've certainly not played before, which is Umbrella Corpse, and I don't know if I'll ever get around to playing that one. But anyways, moving on is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I've only played this game like two times before, so I went ahead and put it in the A rank because I know it does have a pretty good story and it is a pretty spooky game. But in the end, I never ended up playing it that much, so I can't rank it that high. But now moving on to a Resident Evil game that I actually have spent a lot of time on is Resident Evil 2 Remake. I actually really enjoyed this game. They did a really great job with the gameplay and the story. Some people say that this game was too short, but if you play the original, I think they're about even time length. But moving on to the next one is Resident Evil 3 Remake, and this one is definitely the one that they robbed us of and cut a lot out from the original RE3. I wish I could have put this one higher up on the tier list, but the gameplay was really short and they did cut a lot of stuff out from the original, including the clock tower. So I'm going to just have to go ahead and put this in the A rank. Here we have another little Resident Evil game that I actually have never played before, which is Project Resistance. Which is funny to say I've never played it before because I pre-ordered RE3 Remake and I have the game. I've just never chosen to actually play it before. But moving on from that, we have Resident Evil Village. I was never a big fan of video games that have the first person camera angles. So this one is actually going to be a S rank one for me, but only because of the update they had when they came out with third person mode. Here comes another one of these Resident Evil titles that I don't know why is in this list, but I am not complaining because if you know me, I have played the crap out of Resident Evil Reverse. With that being said, I had to go ahead and put it right up there in the S rank next to Resident Evil 4 because the amount of time that I have played this game and how much time I have truly spent on this game just speaks for itself for how much fun I've truly had on this game and all the memories I've made while playing it. Reverse has a special place in my heart, no one will ever say otherwise. But moving on with that, we have the Resident Evil 4 Remake, which I went ahead and put at the very top of the A rank. There's definitely a couple of things that I disliked about RE4 Remake and that I didn't agree with. So with that being said, I only did go on to beat the game once, and then when Separate Ways Remake came out, I went through and I beat that one once as well. 
But besides that, I never did end up playing Mercenaries or anything because I didn't exactly get into that so much and I didn't like the direction that they went with the Mercenaries in this one. But that was our last Resident Evil game, so stick around if you want to see all these other survival horror games and where they stand on my tier list compared to the Resident Evil games. In my opinion, the first Silent Hill game is the absolute definition of survival horror gaming, so I went up there and put that in the S rank right away. Next is the original Silent Hill 2, which I went ahead and put there in the S rank right above RE1 Remake. These Silent Hill games definitely cause you to rely on a lot of more resources, including your flashlight, your radio, your ammo resource, and your health consumption. And while playing, you can really sit back and enjoy the atmosphere and the story that the developers of the game were trying to tell. One thing that makes a survival horror game a real survival horror game is the amount of puzzles that are laid out throughout the games, and these Silent Hill games have a fair share of their puzzles. And now, our newest survival horror game that we have gotten is Silent Hill 2 The Remake. As a matter of fact, this game is so dang new that I haven't even beaten it yet. I went ahead and put it at the top of the A rank, but I think when I beat this game, this would be worthy of an S rank. Now moving on to Silent Hill 3, which I'm going to go ahead and put in the S rank right next to Silent Hill 2 because those games were about even for me. A lot of hardcore survival horror fans will go as far as to say that the original Silent Hill 2 is one of the best survival horror games ever made, and I can sort of agree with them for the most part. The game that I played was kind of an older version I think, and it was a bit hard to see a lot of things. Whereas this Silent Hill 3 looked a lot more smoother, but the gameplay was pretty much identical. Silent Hill is definitely a name that pops up when you think survival horror gaming, so I have to put the first three Silent Hill games all in the S rank. Now, I didn't realize how many Silent Hill games actually came out after the first three, but I have certainly never played any of those games, including that game called PT or whatever. But moving on is a Silent Hill game that I did play, which is Silent Hill The Short Message. I went ahead and put this one in the C rank, which on this tier list is the lowest rank, because if anyone played this game, then you would know exactly how it is, and it's pretty much just a demo. It is pretty spooky from time to time, but it's also pretty short, like the title implies. Alright, and now moving on, I also had to put a lot more games in the Never Played It category, because I've never played a lot of those Alone in the Dark games, and I've never even really heard of them for that matter. But moving on with those, we've got Dead Space. I went ahead and put Dead Space right at the top of the B rank. I have played it. I didn't want to put it in the Never Played It category, because I have indeed played it, but I have not beaten it. And all in all, I think the game pretty much was just like Dead Space 2. I definitely intend on making another tier list of these because I want to play the first Dead Space game and the actual recent Dead Space remake and beat them. But until then, we will just be moving on to the next game on this tier list, which is Dead Space 2. One thing about the Dead Space games is that they're awfully scary at most times but they kind of don't have that survival horror feel because they feel a lot more action-packed in my opinion. So, that game, Dead Space 2, is gonna get the A rank spot, right above Resident Evil 3 Remake, and we will be moving on with our day. There's Dead Space 3 that I had to put in the Never Played It because I've never played Dead Space 3 at all, but we will be talking about The Evil Within, which is a game that I have played, but I haven't beaten it. I remember this game being really difficult and really spooky at times. I don't think it had a lot of that survival horror feel that most games have, but it had a lot of scary jump scares in it, I'm pretty sure. Ah! Ah! What a fucking bitch! Oh my god. I definitely have not played the second Evil Within game yet before, but it would be pretty cool to check it out in the future, I suppose. And as you can see, I'm also moving the rest of these games into the Never Played It category because I have indeed never played any of these horror games, and most of these horror games down here don't even look familiar to me. The only horror games down there in the Never Played It category that I actually do know is Dino Crisis, 
And fun fact, I have played the first Dino Crisis, but I have only played the demo version of it because my 1999 Resident Evil 3 disc that I got on the PlayStation 1 came with a demo of Dino Crisis. So I've only played the opening sections of Dino Crisis and I plan to in the future hopefully play the entire game. Therefore, I don't count that as a game I've played and I put it in the never played it category. Now that is all of my entries for the survival horror gaming tier list. I'm going to go through from top to bottom and show you guys all of my entries to see if you agree or disagree. So starting off as my favorite survival horror games in the S rank, we have Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 2, RE4, Reverse, Resident Evil Code Veronica, RE3 Nemesis, RE2 Remake, Silent Hill, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil Village, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3, and Resident Evil 1 Remake. Over here in the A rank, we have Silent Hill 2 Remake, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Resident Evil 6, Dead Space 2, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil Dead Aim, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and Resident Evil Survivor. Now, moving on to the B rank, I have Dead Space 1, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, Resident Evil 1, the original, and The Evil Within. Finally, down there in the bottom at the C rank, we have Silent Hill The Short Message, Resident Evil Outbreak, and Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. I really hope you guys had a lot of fun watching and following along with my tier list video because I sure had a lot of fun making it. Lastly, I've joined the YouTube Partner Program, so I'd like to leave a special shout out to my one and only pro member, Ico Pro Sam. I post every day, so if you guys want to see daily content, hit subscribe, and with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.